Is Joss Whedon still relevant anymore? And really, should he be? It's time to nerd out. There are few people that have had more influence on nerddom than Joss Whedon. He's written everything from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Firefly, the first two Avengers movies, heck, even Toy Story. Today, so many TV shows are based on the Buffy structure, and so many blockbuster movies follow his quip first, ask questions later writing style. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big ass forehead. <laughs> I was just joking. Joss Whedon can be felt across the nerd world. Yet after his clear artistic frustrations directing Avengers Age of Ultron, Whedon has clearly faltered. His reworking of the much maligned Justice League film was arguably to that film's detriment, working against Zack Snyder's original intention and tone, making for a very strange Franken film. And Franken mustache. And just last week, it was announced Whedon was leaving the director's chair for the announced Batgirl film because he couldn't find a story. For someone who's been a rich storyteller, that's a tough pill to swallow. Yet what's a tougher pill to swallow is that the man who inspired so many of us isn't the man that we thought he was. Last year, Joss Whedon's ex-wife Kai Cole spoke out against Joss Whedon's multiple affairs and emotional manipulation of Cole while they were still married. Cole wrote that Joss Whedon was, quote, a hypocrite preaching feminist ideals. He used his relationship with me as a shield so no one would question his relationships with other women or scrutinize his writing as anything other than feminist. This was shocking for so many of us that looked to Whedon as a definitive voice in feminist fiction. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was and still is an icon for strong female role models. See, I've had a lot of people talking at me the last few days, lining up to tell me how unimportant I am. And I finally figured out why. Power. I have it. They don't. Whedon showed strong queer representation with his character Willow in Buffy, and also showcased a diversity of women showing a variety of different types of strength in the show Firefly. Yet it appears that Joss Whedon may have used his ability to write strong women as a way to hide deeply rooted and unacceptable patterns in his own behavior. So in today's era of Me Too, do we really want to hear a man's voice filtered through female protagonists? Especially a man's voice who is clearly much more problematic than we originally thought. And even more especially with Batgirl, a character who has a chance to be another strong representative representation for empowered women, but has been a character who's been problematically written by numerous male writers, such as in 2016's The Killing Joke adaptation, where she was sexually assaulted as a catalyst for a male character story arc, instead of being a nuanced look at the effects of sexual violence. Joss Whedon, especially in light of his personal life, is not the person that I want guiding that character. Don't get me wrong, Joss Whedon's work has inspired me and so many like me. And I'm not against men being allowed to write and feature female characters. How limiting would that be to creativity if I were? But in the wakes of such work says Black Panther and Wonder Woman, it's time for those who haven't had a chance to speak to their own experiences to have a chance to discuss them on a large scale. And it's certainly time for Joss Whedon to take a step aside and take a long look at himself, while letting the diverse voices of those he's represented and inspired to finally take the center stage.